Hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm going to show you how to make a large-scale candy box using the Template Studio. The Template Studio works with standard size poster board. We Are Memory Keepers offers a wide array of designer poster boards and glitter poster board, but you can also use standard poster board that you can pick up at your local grocery store. Your candy box template guide comes along with these instructional recipe cards. The cards have all of these different sizes that you can make, as well as all of the different uh, measurements that you need to align your guides and the size of paper you need to cut down to. We also have a set of step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow, which I will be going through with you right now. To get started, we are going to be cutting our paper down. I'm going to be doing this one right here on this gray line, when the finished size is going to be 4 and a half by 4 and a half by 18. So I need to cut my paper down to 20 and a half by 21. I'm going to be doing that by using the straight template guides that come with your starter kit. I'm going to do the horizontal cut first using the B and C guides. The arrows on the guides actually align with the where you'll be cutting. So I will be cutting at 21, so I align my arrows to 21, and I snap them into place right here on my mat. <clears throat> And then using the gray cutting tool, I'm going to cut horizontally along. I've found the best thing to do as I do that is to hold my mat, my guide down in place so it doesn't wiggle around on me. Then I disconnect these. I connect A and B together to do the vertical cut. And I align that, as it says here, to 20 and a half. And I cut vertically. Now I'm ready to get started using my guide. I will be using the extra large guide, and this connects with your B guide, just like the other ones do. And I'm going to follow the, right here. This is a set of instructions here. We're going to align our first template to two and a half. And I make sure that my paper is aligned into the lower left hand corner. I snap that into place. And then using my cutting guide, I'm going to cut through the center here of my diamond. And then I'm going to score vertically at the top and as well as the bottom. Now I'm ready to move to the next size, which on my guide says the next one I'm going to is 7. So I line this here at 7. And just repeat what we did before. You're going to cut here. And then we are going to score vertically at the top and bottom. I'm ready to move to my next one, which is 11 and a half. And then as you cut this, you can leave the diamonds in place that you've cut, or you can remove them as you go along. Currently, I'm just leaving them in place, and I'll snap them out when I'm done. All right, move to the next one, which is 16. All right, and score. And now I'm ready to do the very last one. And when you line up with the last one, which is 20 and a half, you'll notice that it lines up perfectly right along here. And so you're only going to have to cut right here along half of the diamond. Okay, let me snap those out. Perfect. Now just like, we, just like with our uh, punch boards, you're going to flip your paper over and now you're going to align it at the bottom and you're going to repeat just what we did before. Only with this time, since we've already done the scoring, you don't need to score again. You only need to do the cutting. So you're going to cut. Now all of, the, all of the measurements in here that we have for the extra large are going to follow these exact same placements. They will all be at 2 and a half, 7, 11 and a half, 16 and 20 and a half. It's because they all use the same distance between each of the, each of the diamonds. And then when you're using the large candy box, they're a little closer together. So follow the instructions to make sure that you're 
cutting those in the right spot. And 20 and a half. Okay. You just pop those out. Now one thing I've found in doing these is uh, it's actually really helpful to score along the center of these diamonds. In the instructions we have that as an optional step. It is optional, but I've found it works best. Um, so you just align your A and B template guides vertically. It doesn't really matter where on the mat you have them, just put it anywhere. And you're just gonna line this up here and you're just going to score along the center of here. And that's actually gonna help you when assembling this so that it just folds up nicely. All right, now we are ready to start assembling. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold along all of your score lines. And then fold along these. And then on this half panel, we are gonna put on some tape um, I found permanent tape works best. I really like this red tape. I already have some of this cut to size. So I'm gonna put a large piece here in the middle. And then I've got two smaller pieces here for the ends. Sometimes this red tape can be a little tricky to pull up. There we go. Okay, and then to align this, you just fold this back over on itself, it folds into place. There's our basic shape, and then to finish it off, take some ribbon or twine, and you're just going to take it here and tie it in the middle. And as you tie it, it's going to pull itself together, just like so tie it off. On the box, we actually have several in different examples of different ways that you can tie them off. We have some that have tags on there. And then the th other thing to notice on here with all of the different sizes that we have called out, all of these different sizes on here, the thing that's changing from the different sizes is this part in the center. So even if you get down to the very bottom one, it's gonna make the center piece just little, like a teeny like a little candy thing. But all of the things that you can make here with the instructions, they're still gonna be larger than anything you can make with the 12 by 12. But this is just one of the many things you can make using the template studio. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos.